Does the New Testament misquote Jesus? Coral Ridge Ministries presents Learn to Discern with John Ray. New Testament scholar Bart Ehrman is one of the media's favorite biblical scholars. A former evangelical, he now calls himself an agnostic and claims that the ancient handwritten manuscripts on which we base our Bible translations are unreliable. According to Ehrman, they are error-ridden copies and centuries removed from the originals. Dr. Ehrman explained his view on the Colbert Report. The problem is that the, uh, the, we don't have the original manuscripts of any of the books of the Bible. What we have are copies made many centuries later, and all these copies have differences in them. What, what happened in, in the Bible is what happened in Jesus' life, right? Uh, well, it may have been, but the problem is we don't have the originals. And these copies that we have, these mm-hmm. thousands of copies, are all yeah. different from one another. But is that true? We have only error-ridden manuscript copies of the original New Testament documents? Dr. Paul Meyer, professor of ancient history at Western Michigan University, disagrees. He claims that we now have a better idea of what the original manuscript said than ever before. When it is just the opposite taking place, despite the time that evolves here, we're getting a better and better reading of the original New Testament text than ever before. Why? King James Edition, 1611, based on six biblical texts. The Revised Version of 1870, 2,000 Greek texts. Today, scholars have this embarrassment of riches, whereby they have 5,700 manuscripts in whole or in part against which textual critics, using very exacting rules, are able to get further and further back to the original readings. Bart Ehrman's claim that there are copying errors is true, but it's hardly the whole truth. Dr. Timothy Paul Jones, a professor at Southern Baptist Seminary, explains. One of the main claims that Bart Ehrman makes is, and he says this over and over and over, is he says there are between 200,000 and 400,000 variants between all the New Testament manuscripts, and he's pretty close to correct on that. And then he goes on to say this, that there are only 138,000 words in the Greek New Testament to begin with. Now, what the listener or the reader is left with at that point is the impression, well, man, if there are more manuscript differences than there are words in the Greek New Testament, then on the basis of that, we must not be able to rely on what the New Testament says. But what Bart Ehrman doesn't clearly communicate to his listener, to his reader, is simply this. More than 99% of those of those different variances between the different manuscripts are not even noticeable in your English translation. And here's one more fact. of those variations in the manuscripts involve differences in spelling or nuances in the Greek. These differences do not even translate beyond the Greek language. The other 1% has no bearing on the central truths taught in the New Testament about Jesus Christ. I hope this has helped you learn to discern and that you'll share this video with a friend. To learn more about why you can trust the New Testament, request the new Coral Ridge Ministries video, The Attack on Jesus. Just go to CoralRidge.org and click the online store tab. For Coral Ridge Ministries, I'm John Ray.